So then you might think about there being a distribution function f of v, f of v equals the probability that vi is less than or equal to v over some population. That is, the fraction of the population that has a, demand, that has a v less than or equal to vi less than or equal to v. Right? It's just the cumulative distribution function of v in the population. Okay. So the, the, the demand d of p would be equal to what? Well, d of p, the amount that would be demanded at price p, would be the number of people in the population times 1 minus f of p, because everybody who has a v bigger than or equal to p is going to buy, let's say. If, if, the, if this is not a continuous distribution, then you really got like a bunch of people who are indifferent. But let's just assume f is a nice continuous function. If it's continuous, then this formula will hold. That will be the fraction of people that will buy. Be this is the fraction of people that buy. That's the fraction that have v bigger than or equal to p. And then we multiply that times the number of people, and that gives us the total number of people who want to buy. Any questions that people have? OK? Now, if you thought about this v having some kind of like normal distribution, right? Let's assume that v had a normal distribution, just to think about what that would imply. We don't have to, it doesn't have to have a normal distribution. What would this demand curve look like? What would this demand curve look like? Well, remember, our demand curves are all drawn kind of backwards because we got p on the vertical axis and quantity on this axis. So it would look like this. Well, I guess, yeah, so it would look like, it looks something like that, right? If it was a normal distribution, where this would be asymptoting to what? What would it be asymptoting to? One? N, N, right? We, this would go to N. Be asymptoting to N. And if it was normally distributed, some guys would actually have negative Vs, of course, which means they don't like the product. You know, you know, if you don't like a normal distribution, you could take a log normal or any other cumulative you want. What if it was uniform? What if the demand, what if the distribution of values was uniform? V is distributed uniform on some interval A to B. What would it look like? Well, above B, nobody would buy, right? Below A, everybody would buy. So we just have a nice linear demand curve. That would be the demand curve where that would be N, right? That is, if you get below A, everybody's going to buy. Above B, nobody would buy. So we'd have a linear demand curve. So one way people motivate a linear demand curve is some more of uniform distribution of preferences. Okay? Now,